News 360 live from the News Hub here in Accra. My name is AC Benewa Otu. My name is Amoni. We have the headlines for tonight. Coming up shortly. Please stay with us. Teachers in the uh, Kachenlendo uh, community in the Kandai district of the northern region have devised means of solving the school's numerous challenges in the face of slow response in the plight. Pupils are, uh, are used on farms uh, to raise money to support the school. A worried teacher, Eric, uh, says that is the only way the school can function due to inadequate support for its activities. It's a hazy Tuesday morning. The sounds of birds show a new day at the Kachilendo DA Basic School Farm. Pupils are supposed to be in school, but cannot be done. Rather, they are at the school's farm working. An earlier rain means good time to work on the farm. The boys are preparing two acres of yam mounds while the girls and kindergarten pupils collect the residues after burning the cleared weeds. They are supervised by two of their teachers. No school today. That's on the lips of all the kids. <laughs> Head teacher Eric Hunpe explains why the children engage in the farming activities. I have tried visiting the office on several occasions and then um, we were told any point in time where they will get the furniture, they will supply us some. Then, since it's not forthcoming, we are in a farming community, we thought it wise to see if we can use that avenue to raise uh, some money to uh, purchase some of this furniture. So I discussed it with the PTA and then they also agreed and contributed some yam sets for us. We were raising yam mounds to plant the yams. Maybe, God willing, next season we may get some yield, and then uh, we'll use it to see if we can mold some of the dexes for the pupils. Our authorities at the district are aware of this. They've reshuffled the CS. So the former one was informed, and then the he is aware of it. But then the current one is the one I have not briefed about it. Let's go. The district chief executive for Pandai, Imano Ata Tatablata, disagrees with the exploitation of the children. I am not aware. And I have to also find out from the director of education whether that school has been absorbed by government. He said the assembly will soon intervene. The next day, the mission team went back to the school when classes were in session to ascertain the claims by the teacher. So, you are going to take them one after the other. This is one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Kachilendo DA Basic School was established as a community school but was absorbed by government in 2014 but remains very deprived. The whole school has three classroom blocks and a pavilion which accommodates pupils from KG to upper primary six. KG 1 and 2 occupy one class, classes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 also being merged in the remaining classrooms, while class 5 and 6 pupils occupy the pavilion. The school has no teaching and learning materials as well as furniture. For the classes that lie on the floor, as you can see our classes are not even floored. So, where will you put the book before you even write? So you can only do oral assessment when it comes to those classes. Cajun pupils sit and learn how to write on the floor, but the difficulty in doing that each day, we were told, has discouraged most pupils from enrolling in the school. They have not seen a slate before, and so much of the day's learning is focused on reciting poems. The lion has a tail. It has a big head. It has a big head. And a very small waist. 
For some combined classes, they are fortunate to sit on broken pieces of desk. This is the audio that pupils of this school endure daily, all in the name of seeking for education. This class, I'm told, accommodates class 1 and 2 pupils, but due to inadequate furniture, they are compelled to sit on broken pieces of desk, and this serves only those who come to school early in the morning. If a pupil comes to school very late, they are compelled to sit right behind me on the floor and they do all their day's activity on the floor some pupils share one exercise book and pencil poverty is high in this part of the panda district the school has no approved textbooks and supply of chalk stakeholders must consider prioritizing the needs of the kachilendo da basic school to enable pupils achieve goal four of the united nations sustainable development goals stanley niblewu TV3 News, Kachilendo. It has a big head. It has a big head. And a very small waist.